Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be speaking about Beyonce and her recent single that she just dropped, okay? And also my thoughts on it as well as fans' thoughts on it, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the conversation. Before I get into that, I just want to say thank you guys. I love you guys. I see all the support I've been getting recently. I noticed some haters and everything too, bitch. And y'all can get the fuck on because I'm going to act how I want to act. I'm going to say what I want to say. You don't have to agree with my opinions. You can think I'm rambly. You can think I talk too much. You can think da 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 What's for me is for me and what's for my subscribers is for my subscribers. So if you don't like it, you can get the fuck on, period. And anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this video okay so beyonce 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 <laughs> sigh okay so there's a deep deep sigh okay and the beehive can come for me they can come for me i don't give a fuck do you understand me i don't care do you understand me this song that beyonce just dropped okay i don't like it <laughs> <laughs> and I love music. I love giving my opinions on music. And I'm going to give my unfiltered opinions on music. So I don't care whether or not you agree with my opinion, okay? Whether you agree, disagree, or anything in between, bitch. I don't like the song, okay? And l <laughs> let me get into just a little bit about how I feel about Beyonce musically. Because I don't talk about her much on this channel. But because she's been out and she's been doing her renaissance thing. And she's been going on tour and everything like that. You know, there's a lot more conversations being had around her. She's being talked about a lot more and everything like that. It's time for me to get my opinions on Beyonce because I, I, I haven't really had a reason to before, but now I do. So I love her. Classic. She's classic. I like all of her older music. But I'm, if I'm going to be honest, the music that she's put out recently in this, you know, recent last few years has been a hell no for me for the most part. So can I be honest about Renaissance? I did not care for Renaissance like that. Um, I appreciated the diversity and how she kind of went into a different sound um, with her music by doing the Renaissance album because it's not like a sound that she's done before. So I appreciated the diversity there. But as an all in all, I did not love the album in its entirety. I loved a couple of songs off the album, so I'll specify those. I loved Alien Superstar, Heated, and um, what was the other one? Cuff it, cuff it, cuff it. Yes, 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 yes. Cuff it was so good. Like, it reminded me of, like, old school Beyonce. Like, it was giving, I don't know, love on top vibes. Like, cuff it reminded me of, like, the 2010s Beyonce in a way. And I really miss that Beyonce. Like, I miss sing songy Beyonce. And some people are saying, oh, you know, she can elevate and da da da. I understand. There's nothing wrong with, like, artist elevation and her changing up her style, her demeanor, demeanor how she comes. But I miss when Beyonce really used to sing. And people who know Beyonce know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like when Beyonce really used to get into it and she used to sang, sing, sing, sang, sang. That's the type of Beyonce that I miss, okay? I miss the Halo era. Like when she was singing, for real, for real. I This rappy Beyonce aggressive, you know, oomph, like she's screaming into the microphone type. I don't like that. I'm sorry. And I'm not a beehive, you know what I'm saying? So the beehive can be mad, but I'm not a motherfucking beehive. I'm just like somebody who listens to music and I've listened to Beyonce my whole entire childhood. <laughs> so I, that's what I like personally, the, that Beyonce. And uh, <laughs> I've been checked out from Beyonce for years, okay? For me personally, I am with those crowd of people who think that um, Lemonade was Beyonce's last album that made an impact for me. That was the best. Um, she was starting to get into her rap bag with Lemonade. That was when she kind of started to cross over a little bit more into like the more aggressive tone. But that was the last one that was like, you know, decent, even though you know she wasn't as sing songy in that album. I mean, she was a little bit, but not really. She started getting a little edgier. And I appreciated that at that tone, like when she was doing it at, in that way, it was digestible and it was, it was fresh. It was different. And it was like, Ooh, okay. Get into your bag, Beyonce. I see you coming a little like, girl, I'm the one. I, I didn't mind that, but I thought it was like an era, but it came and then it never left. Like it came and then it's 
stayed and then it's gotten more and more aggressive <laughs> and i just don't like it i i prefer sing songy beyonce i think she sounds better when she's singing to us versus screaming at us personally okay and the beehive can come for me again bitch i don't care right you know it was cute okay ladies now let's get information okay okay ladies now let's get information like that was cute and then sorry i like sorry because that was a lot different for beyonce like sonically that was a whole different vibe a whole different mood for her i really like sorry it was like f y'all i loved that also another song like we like to party i know we like to party was not on lemonade but i missed that era we like to party hey hey like oh that like sexy r&b vibe i miss that and it's like are we ever going to get that version of beyonce back you know what i'm saying like the sing-songy beyonce i i totally miss that now what i will say is i appreciate the aesthetic the futuristic aesthetic that she has had recently is pretty cool um you know the tour aesthetic was pretty cool but this the overall sound to me is missing something in this house record or my house record is just really aggressive and she i feel like she's shouting at me the entire time and it's not really enjoyable to listen to to me personally let's take a look at what some people had to say she's doing all this because we ain't gonna see her for the next five years i just know that hbu is gonna throw down on this beat i love when bay raps aggressive and talks her shit this is so hard not gonna lie this is not it haven't really cared since Lemonade, to be honest. Agree. <laughs> Beyonce, where is me, myself, and I, the R&B lord, why everybody want to rap? I'm so over the yelling, hooting and holler. Literally, like, girl, please shush. <laughs> like, shush it down. <laughs> She's almost 50. She needs to go on ahead and retire. Oop. Now, y'all are rude. I didn't say she needed to retire. I just said she needed to, you know, sing to us instead. Beyonce, you got nipple rings? Girl, the HBU band's going to eat this up. One minute, I want to do hood rat shit with my friends, and the next, I want to vogue at the ball. Beyonce fans are going up and down defending this stupid ass, slow ass song. Y'all not telling this woman how horrible her music is, and now she thinks she can put anything out because you trying to silence the real critics. This song, just like the perfume, sucks. Oop! Y'all think Beyonce's perfume sucks? Listen. I've heard positive and negative reviews of it, so I don't know. Y'all let me think. Have y'all bought the perfume? Let me know. Who the F is listening to her? Dangerously in Love and B-Day are the only albums I'll listen to, but y'all go on ahead and praise y'all God. No, she can keep it. Y'all mad. It's still going to sell. Love that for her. Beyonce, love you, sis, but you should have kept this in the archives. Her music is so aggressive now. She wants to be Nicki Minaj so bad. Some of y'all don't even know who or what Lorraine Swartz is, and it shows. Nah, I love the old Beyonce. I'm talking 2003 to 2013 Beyonce. She lost me at Lemonade. I'll be glad when she starts singing about love again. Okay, y'all, that is what a lot of people had to say. A lot of people are not feeling it. I'm seeing more people not feeling it than people are feeling it. So let me know what you think. Um, is this leading into a new era? Is she about to drop another album in a second or a part two to Renaissance? Like, if this is a part two to Renaissance, then you lost me because I'm probably not even going to listen to the album, to be honest. If this is what it's kind of giving or this is what the vibe is, hot pass for me. I'm just over it. But anyway, y'all let me know what you think and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.